Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Well, I did it. I have never had a saw till in my in my shop ever, and I don't know why I haven't. It's going to be nice having all my saws in one place finally. Plus, it only takes up a very small amount of space, wall space on here, because this is only about eight inches over all width of what it's going to take up on off of the wall. And it rolls out as I need it, so if I need something off the back, one of my western saws, I can get them off of here without any problem. I put a bracket down here and put a bar through here so that all my western style saws, can the handles can sit right on here. And then I just set up a bl saw block <laughs> that I sawed curves in it. And I cut off a piece and put it here for these saws. Another piece I put in here for these saws, and I can that's flexible. So, as I change things around, and I suspect I will because this is kind of like a canvas painting, and I'm gonna probably change it all the time. So, don't be surprised. I have the whole back side of this too, uh, so I'll probably put all my hacksaws and coping saws back here. And I should have been able to get all my saws from the shop in one location. And the beauty of it is when it's not in use, it takes up virtually no space. And I can still get to most of my saws without even having to pull it out. So I think that's going to work out good. I still got these two that I'm going to uh, use those for my planes. So I'll have my plane till and my saw till right here in one spot. And it'll only be taking up about 24, 27 inches of wall space for both of them. I think that's great. So, if you have any questions about how I did this, like I said, other than this bottom bracket, all I really did is I put a magnet up here, one of those Harbor Freight magnets, to help me keep things organized. And that seems to work pretty good. It's flexible. I can change it as I go along, and we'll just try it and see how it works. I'm sure I'll change it. So, anyway... On here, with all the planes, and one thing I've noticed since I put weight on this, that I get a little bit of roughness off those bearings, those glass marbles. So I think maybe it'd be worthwhile, is I'm going to change out this OSB on this top plate here that rides on the marbles. I'm going to take that and replace that piece of OSB with some melamine. I think that would probably work better and run a lot smoother. So... We'll see what it's like after I do that. But I think that'll be a big improvement. But, I mean, it works. It, it's just kind of rough when it pulled it out. Also, when I first did this, I didn't want to put a handle on here. But now I know where that sweet spot will be to have the handle just right to be able to pull it out easily. Uh, now that I know where that is, I'll put a handle on here too, which will be handy to have. So, anyway, once I get my counter in... This area is coming along pretty nicely. So, my miter saw is right here next to it. I'm in the corner. There's the front window. Those three moving panels that we talked about a couple days ago. And then my miter saw is right here. So, it's kind of in this one corner toward the front of the uh, shop, toward the street. Anyway, I love it. I'm glad I got a saw till finally. Thought I'd give you a quick update. If you have any questions or any comments or ideas, leave them in the comments. I appreciate it. <clears throat> if you like this video, learn something here, hit that like button. Most importantly, come back because we'll know when we're done. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.